Next up is the Harris Chain. Maybe a shot of redemption for you? Yeah, for me, you know, Harris Chain, time for redemption. I, mean, I want to try to find the bulk of my fish fishing and add a few sight fish along the way. Because I really don't think that this is an event that you can win strictly just fishing or strictly just sight fishing. The way the moon's set up, the way the weather's warming up, there's going to be a big push of fish coming to the bank, and it's going to be a pretty awesome event. I, this is what I call a slug fest. Oh, it's a giant, dude. A giant. Oh, God. Giant one. Giant one. Oh my god. places with sunshiny faces. I didn't know you could sing. You sing in the choir? I'm a very diverse singer. I mean, I'm liable to go from Sir Mix a Lot, Baby Got Back. Maybe to back. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, over to Old McDonald, but back to some metallic. Some inner sand man. I haven't even heard you sing that. Baby Shark song. Really? Don't start that one this morning. My youngest and my neighbor's daughter have been into that song, that Gummy Bear song. Have you ever heard it? Uh-uh. How's it go? Do you talk about the most, uh, where's my phone? Don't, no, no, don't do that. That's not what, this is not how we want to start off the video with with songs in our head all day long, I'm singing Teletubbies and the lock and stuff. Don't, I don't want that in my head. Look out! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You're putting that stuff on me, Matt. That's definitely not how we wanted to start our uh, day one of Harris Chain. Good morning, everybody. Well, the day is here. It's going to be a fun tournament. It's going to be um, a lot of fish caught. It's just going to be one of those events. I don't know. What, is, what do you think it's going to take to get a check? 15, 14? I hope it doesn't take 15. 14 pounds a day? I'll say I do. I mean, I think, I think it is. I think it's going to take that, every bit of it. So, it's going to be, uh, I mean, Canterbury's catching them. Matt's wrecking them. Just wrecking them. <laughs> Matt's been saying all week he thinks he's going to win. Don't lie to the camera. Matt, I mean, destroying them. Worst practice I've ever had. Mm -hmm. He always says that. He said he only caught a couple two and a half pounders in this one area, but I guarantee you. Worst practice he's ever had, he's out the water at 3 o'clock. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> He's always off the water. I was back at 5.50. I do have a question for you, Matt. I don't understand, do you, I don't understand why y'all lie to all your viewers. Do, do you rig your whole season and, like, and everything's in boxes? Like You open a box up and it's like St. John's. You open a box up and it's Harry Actually, Kane. yeah, so like everything in my boat now, about 75% of that will just come out and then I'll put boxes in for the classic. Yeah. Have you already got them packed? I've got about 15 rods rigged for the classic. True story. <laughs> so here's what you do, Matt. When you pull into those pads today, if it feels like a two pounder, don't set the hook. Shake them off. Yeah, because you're going for the females, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We, we discriminate in this tournament. We ain't catching the males. No, I'm telling you, dude. Leave them Shake them off today. They'll be a big in there tomorrow. Yeah. I am excited this morning, guys. It's uh, you know, the pra practice was it was it was okay. I'm, I'm banking the fact on the fact that I can get down there and I, I can just catch five and have two or three bigger fish bite. So I'm just gonna have to just focus and just fish and not look at my clock and just yeah, fish hard, pray hard. That's what we're gonna do, guys. That's all I can do. Weigh in at five o'clock. I'm gonna have to just figure out exactly how much time it takes to get down, how much time it takes to lock through, and then make a good decision on coming back because you don't wanna be late. Getting back would be a problem. Still getting jitters, you know. 
it's like uh, for Marshall David Watson. David yeah, you put forth a lot. Of, here's the deal. It's like you 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 don't realize how hard you work. Like you work so hard in these tournaments, physically and mentally, because you have to like game plan everything. You have to forecast the weather. You have to forecast. You know, it's like every day I, I game plan. Like here's here's what I think is going to happen, and then you adjust every day. You adjust based on practice, based on updated weather, based on the feeling you get. Everything. And so it's 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 constantly changing. Your mind never stops. So practice, like I literally go to bed thinking about it. I have dreams about it. I wake up. The very first thing in my in my thought process is like my game plan for the day. And um, today is is where you execute all that. And uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. You know, you have to make a decision. You know, all those nerves for a couple of days are all built up. Like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then you finally settle in on a, on a, on a plan, and it's like, you, you, you kind of release it and go. So that's what we've done. We've, we're just going to go. You know, I, I'm going to run to the lock. I'm going to try to get through as quick as I can. You know, I should stop and fish here for a little bit, but you know what? I haven't been doing that. I'm not going to sidetrack myself. I am literally going to just go straight to my game plan. If I have to sit at the lock for 45 minutes and wait, I'll sit there and wait. I'm going to lock through. I'm going to go do my job. And that's, we're just going to leave it at that. What do you think? Well, we're locking through to a popka and um, a little bit of a gamble to go down here. Obviously, the quality of the fish are pretty good, but we could only fit three boats at a time. So we've been timing it. It's about a 21 minute cycle. So every 21 minutes that locks open and we can get three more in. Unfortunately, I was one of the last boats down here today. So. I think in total there's been five cycles or there's going to end up being five cycles so it's cutting into a lot of time now fortunately i have five o'clock weigh in so i'm making that time up but still this is starting to get a little stressful you know it's um it's the unknown and here's the other part you got to factor in is coming back how many people push it in the last minute if you time it wrong or make a bad judgment and you get stuck out of the lock 21 minutes late your bag's gone basically so yeah Thank you so much. Two hours and 15 minutes right here. At least 10 minutes to where I got a fish. Maybe 15. So it's a two and a half hour deal. Let's go.
that's not an apopka bass by the way that's something that's a bass that got lost but it's number one just gotta keep getting bites God almighty, dude, it was a big one. It was a big one. I barely hit it, too. Just barely hit it. tricky bite they're just biting really strange they're really biting like i mean that one bit it net like i've got straight braid i'm 20 feet from the fish i never felt him bite like you saw me sitting there going like what's going on god mighty dude that, that was uh that was a little different it's a lot of bites in just a few minutes though so. there's a giant one right here that's one of the males in there spawning <clears throat> that's cool I got, a, I got a big area up here, like we started on. I'll go fish that. Yeah. Pretty sure there's one spawning right here. I told you there was one there. <laughs> it's just something that just makes you feel a little better. Here's one. That's a big 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 one. Okay. A lot better.
Good job. Good job. Yeah, it ain't a good job. <laughs> T, get it in the boat? Yeah. Except my wife's brother. It's way zero, T. Yeah, not a good job. Oh my god. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her, baby. I waypointed that fish, shook that fish off in practice. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Shake I shook him. I took Matt Aries advice and I shook that baby off in practice. I waypointed it. I actually frayed the cattails just a slight bit, frayed them, so I knew. And I thought, I think that's the spot. <laughs> All right. That helps. Okay. Shook that one off in practice too. God. Couldn't get him up. I mean, I don't know. What a 12 incher. Let's say that. What the heck, man? This time of the year, and you know, when they're spawning like that, you miss a lot of fish. Just they they get it. You know, they're not a lot of times even trying to eat the thing. They're just trying to get it out of that, get it out of there. You can see the hole in the pads right there. Got it again. All right. Probably a different fish, to be honest with you. Because for her to bite again that quick, let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a hook mark. That's the one hook mark there, right there. So that's a different fish. That's the male. Or, I don't know. It's a good fish, though. 
Yep. Okay. It's a pound and three quarter. I need to replace that one with about a nine. Just one more patch of arrowheads and we're gonna go. About two minutes or so. Dang it. Oh gosh, giant one. Giant one. Giant one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck! No! One, the one key, and again, I don't know how, I mean, obviously my weight is not great right now, but you know, I've had some opportunities, but what what's interesting and fun at the same time is how slow you have to fish. Like you cannot get in a hurry here. Or at least I haven't been able to get bit going fast. I just go, just creeping like this. And that, that's how you fish forward in the, in the, during the spawn, because you just have to envision every flip I'm envisioning that there's probably a bed there. So. So it's 36, we gotta leave, leave it in like 14 minutes. I don't have time to run to that big one. Um, it's it's down past around that corner yeah there's no way to do that so i gotta leave in like 12 minutes so i just need to just make something happen right here it's bittersweet in a way i'm i'm happy that i've found an area that had potential but i'm i'm, I'm upset that i didn't capitalize on it but there's a lot of tournaments you just don't find an opportunity. Today, I had an opportunity to do something pretty special. It's not over by any means, but I'm definitely behind the eight ball on this one. Whoa, that's a big one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. That is a big one. Stay on, baby. Please stay on. Stay on. Got him. It ain't real big, but he's a good one. Three pounds? Three and a half pounds, probably. Yeah. Boy, that sucker there right away. Good job, buddy. Twin spin, baby. Bagley. Boom! Boom, boom. Boom, chakalaka.
Get out good! Damn. Seven pounder? That was that was bigger than six, yeah, that was There he is. Yeah! Ho -ho! Woo! That was a call, baby. That was a call. Yeah! Ha! That right there. What a blessing. What a blessing. Bandito bug. Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guys, that's not even the one I. Uh, that, that's. There's, there's, yes! Thank you, Jesus. Dude, was that cool or what? That was really cool, bro. That was awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa! You hear that line? Whoa, 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 whoa! I think there's a, I think there's, I think there's four or five of them jokers right here, dude. You ever seen anybody fish this slow? <laughs> He was bigger than that. Oh, he's gonna help me. Maybe. Maybe. He's skinny, he's 111. No, nah, he's bigger. He's bigger, look. Oh my god, I had her. I had her. I had her. Oh crap, dude. She bit it though. Got her. Got her, dude. Please stay on, please. Please stay on. Please stay on. Yeah! <laughs> That is freaking crazy cool, dude. That is freaking crazy cool. Oh my gosh, boys and girls. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh, dude, dude. Holy cow, let's just go, dude. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Look at that call. Holy cow, dude, that is freaking awesome. Dude, I think, I mean, I don't know what's over there, dude. I don't know what's in those pads. I'm, I'm, I mean, that was a two pounder, a four, and a four. Yeah. There's gotta be more. I think there's a big one over there on that point because there was an old man in here fishing yesterday. Guys, that was special. That was, that was, that was awesome. I mean, to take a day that's been frustrating Missed fish, missed fish, missed fish. To come in here late. Oh man, that felt good. To call two four pounders, to catch two four pounders, solid force too. At least it gets me to a point where I can go back to a popka tomorrow, I can settle down, and I can try to win this tournament.
Got an eight? I lost like a nine, dude. Had my hands on it. Oh yeah, they got it all on live, dude. They've been looping it all day long. He's a three-time classic qualifier. Two wins on the FLW tour from Shelby, North Carolina. Matt Airy. Matt Airy with five fish here today. Don't want to take the lead away from Rick Plum anyways, do you? 14 pounds even, and that is respectful of you not to take the lead away from Rick Plum. I heard you let go a six-pounder right before weighing. No, yeah, well, it was a little bigger than six. Well, I thought it was a six, and I found her. She's a brand new, and she was like five flips, and anyway. It, oh, I wasn't bringing up a bad memory. I literally was just joking that you let a fish go so Rick could lead. You, oh, you no. lost a big one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that, thanks for reminding me, though. I was just starting to forget that. I actually got to watch Rick catch some of his today, though, so that was pretty cool. But anytime you get to fish around a legend and you get to see him uh, see him doing his thing and, and make you look like a, you just think, you, you thought you knew what you were doing, and then you see Rick out there and, I don't know how, real, how old Rick is, but he's a lot of, 75, 75, thank you, Dave, and he, uh, it's amazing that man still does what he does, and, and he's able to be competitive at his age, and, um, you know, hats off to him, but, uh, hey, it's sunny Florida, there's a lot of big girls moving around out there, we're gonna go out there and try to find a few tomorrow. Go get them tomorrow. Well, it was warm, sunny, it was warm and sunny, fishing was okay, caught a bunch, actually caught about 15 keepers, and, uh, lost a really, really big one off the bed, I got her all the way to the boat, and, Anyway, it just it's part of it, but um, it was like an eight or nine pounder, and um, you'll see it if McCoy's nice enough to put it in the YouTube video for y'all. And uh, you'll see its head come out of the water, waller in next to the boat, and then it comes off. And it is what it is. But those are the difference makers in Florida. Tomorrow I got to go out and catch another 13, 14 pounds, and then find a seven or eight, nine pounder to go with them. So doesn't look like they caught them as good as I thought they would. Um, so we're still in this thing. Uh, need another 13, 14, 15 pounds tomorrow to probably make the cut, and then. Uh, find a big one or two to get back in the 2019 elite series angler of the year from alabama scott canterbury monster back of the tournament 21 pounds even he moves into seventh place 21 pounds even for the yamaha skeeter pro from alabama 21 even sitting in seventh place and gotta be happy with that scott yeah i'm telling you i'm glad i had a long day because it took me all day to get them for sure uh I caught that one pretty early, but the rest of them was pretty much a grind. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I love fishing down here. You got a chance of catching one of those big ones. Caught a big one last week that sort of saved me, so hopefully I can go out and get another one tomorrow. It's pretty tough out there, but we're going to go swing at them hard. Go get it done. We'll see you back here. Man, guys, great day one here at the Harris Chain. You know, I had an eight-pounder this morning. An eight-pounder goes a long ways, but that's what boosts you up in Florida. And, uh, you know, I was able to catch that fish, land it. Uh, on my Canterbury Signature Series 7.6 rod. I love pitching and flipping with that rod. So, uh, you got to get back out there tomorrow. You know, I think Scott's got a really big bag. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. The household's doing good. We're going to go get them tomorrow, guys. I know you're going to get loud now. He is a seven time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Scott Martin with five fish here today. Five fish on day number one, 17 pounds and an ounce. He moves into 20th place currently. Scott Martin put on a show out there today on Bassmaster Live. Unfortunately, it was like a yeah. good movie. I mean, he laughed, you cried. It was everything in between. But to rally to 17 pounds after having everything go wrong, really, Man, I look forward to seeing it when it goes right tomorrow, hopefully. Well, you know, it, I, I made a long run. I, I sat, waited on the lock for literally two and a half hours. I had about eight pounds at noon, and I kind of scrambled around a little bit, started making some adjustments, started catching some better fish. But it was a struggle. It really was. And I, I do want to apologize for people watching on live. I might have said a slipped up bad word or two today. I apologize big time. But, you know, it's intense. You know, I had my hands on about eight or nine pounder today, and it got off, and a couple other opportunities that I missed. But... You know, all in all, it was a good day, and uh, looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. We'll get them tomorrow. We look forward to seeing how it works out for you. All right, so 17-1, I don't know what place that's going to put me, top 20 or so probably, but, you know, today I had some opportunities. I'm going to go out tomorrow, give it all I got, and uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, 
it's a lot more than I had at noon, I, I, I'll tell you that. So we took a disastrous day and we turned it into a salvage day. So I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about tomorrow. Canterbury caught 21 pounds. That's awesome. I think Matt got 15 or so. I'm, I'm not real sure, but I think we're all in the hunt. So let's, uh, let's go get some food because I'm starving. What's up, man? Uh, what'd you end up having? 14. Hey, look at cheap, yeah. I don't know, yeah. 14. I should have had 20 something. I heard you lost some big Just wait till you see it on GoPro. You'll you'll see it. Did you see my footage yet? I I saw you give me a shout out. Hey, there's another one too. By the way, hey, you know that fish you said that ain't a big one, and I said I'll sacrifice one for you. You caught it again? Yeah. <laughs> See hey, that? Now that's hey, rare. Before, now that's rare. The pad before I told you I shipped one off. There was another four there. So there's a four and a four. I caught it. Look, there's ten pads in there. So you caught your whole bag there and that one big yeah. one in the reeds. Yeah. Basically. Dude, I would only had like 13 pounds in his pocket, but I caught two fours on the way in. I couldn't scoop her. I was trying to scoop her, and she was right there, and I, and I was on the front of the boat, so I went down, and dude, I, I dropped my rod and had my line, and she took off. Like whoa, she, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you didn't drop my rod. Whoa, you touch that line, you're asking for trouble. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. Well. I did the same thing. I, but I, I but, but anyway, she's there. right there, and then she took off. I had my rod in my hand still, but I didn't reel up enough line. Like I was just like, I was like a foot. I needed, I knew I needed a little more. So I went like this and I, and I got down there and I was like getting her and she took off to the back of the boat, dude, and was back there by the back corner, jumped and like, and then just freaking pulled off. Just pulled off. She was a little green, probably. White as like that boot. No, I mean, she was still yeah. green when you were trying to I hit, I got pitched up there. She hit hard too, but like a good bite, like poof, oh. And I went, and that rod was doubled over, dude, like crazy. She jumped and then came out of the boat and just crazy, just crazy fish. There ain't nothing worse when you lose one like that in the tournament. I couldn't, she, there was like deep kissimmee grass and she was, I was trying to keep her out of it. And she was running down the edge of it, like under the boat, by the boat. And it was just, what do you do? One of the reasons this bait is so good when you're fishing, soft bottom lakes like a popka a real skinny worm <clears throat> will sink down the mud because this bandito bug is wide it lays on top of the lightweight and it lays on top of the soft bottom better so this, this fish just react to it a little better you know i'm a little torn on where to go i could go to that lake where i caught those nice fish this afternoon but i don't know how many are in there still you know i think i could catch something in there though but I, I gotta go back to a popka. You know, if I can make the cut there and tomorrow's tough, then I'll, I'll spend all day in that one lake. See what happens. I don't think I can catch over 20 in that one lake though. I think I can catch 17, 18, 19 out of it if everything worked out. It's gonna fall pretty hard, I think. Every time I say think that, it doubles. And, uh, and I need to catch way more than that, but I just, I'm just, Right. I, 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 what I'm doing is I'm calculating some bed fish that I have. Canterbury's in seventh with 21 pounds, which is a really good bag. Had eight pounder yesterday. Obviously saw that awesome catch. And then um, I think I'm in 17th right now with 17. Matt's 14. So we're all within the cut right now. We've all got to go out and catch them again. Matt's got to catch 14 or 15 again to make the cut, which he should be able to. He's on some good quality fish. The deal that Canterbury and I are kind of on, it, it, it's a little its a little risk reward because I mean, you could go out there and you could catch eight pounds. I could catch, yeah, seriously, I've been burned. Yeah. Where I'm a fishing yeah. griffin and I've been burned before. Oh, well, anytime you're fishing spawn, it can just, if you're on the wrong part of the cycle, but I, I think, I think, I think you'll get, you'll get a couple opportunities at big ones at some point and hopefully I'll get two or three opportunities at some big ones. Yeah, we ones. had all three of us in the household yeah. had a chance at a big one yesterday. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. What's up, Jake? What up? Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Jesus. He woke up then. Ice <laughs> 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 
Buffalo guard action right there. I will say this about Starbright. If you think about it, like anything in a boat, anything in an RV car, it doesn't matter. Like you, a deodorizer, uh, something for your RV, a boat, they, they make it. All you got to do is go check out their, uh, their little dot com. And it's literally everything. Day two. You know, day two in a tournament's like more stressful than day one. You would think like, oh, you've got the tournament going and you kind of know what you're going to do and everything should be much clearer. Day two a lot of times is not as clear as day one because you know, you come in and not that you're not that you're trying to get information from anybody, obviously, but you hear chatter like, oh, did you hear so and so caught him here? And oh, did you hear? And then you see certain people caught him, certain people didn't, and you kind of just have a feeling like, oh, that, you know, that's kind of maybe happening or this isn't happening. And, and then you, your mind starts going, and then you're like, oh, okay, especially if you have a good day, you know, you gotta like, okay, I gotta back that up. So it, it, day two, day two is the most important day of the whole tournament. It really is because. Without a good day two, you can't win the tournament. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down there again today and just see if I can't get a couple big bites quick. And, and um, you know, if I can get enough to make the cut, things aren't happening, I'm going to get out of there and go to that little lake that we finished up in, you know. And um, I think there could be something happening in there. I don't know. You know, it could be a little sneaky hole in there. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good little deal. So, that being said, I'm excited. Day two. Hopefully Canterbury jacks him up. Hopefully Matt catches him. Hopefully I'll make the cut. That'd be cool, huh? Oh, the house cut. I went to the locking through the Toho and a bass the bass open a couple years ago. And I'm sitting in there and I'm filming and I'm doing my thing and I'm sitting there talking and I tied the damn rope like an idiot to my steering wheel. Tied it. So it would hold it and I'm talking and then she starts dropping that thing out, dude. All of a sudden I look over and the rope's getting tight. It's starting to stretch my steering wheel. And luckily I got it off of there just in it would have ripped my whole console out. It was one of those big ropes too. Tied to the wall. Yeah, right. Red River. Yeah. There's a guy tied, you know, from all over. They tied up to the ladder and it started getting tight. And someone ran from like another boat the knife and cut it. It was starting to lift his boat out. Yeah. All right. That's good. It's a nice fish today. Wind's blowing in on this stuff. It's going to make it a little more challenging to fish, but it might, might make them bite really good. He wasn't big, but he was a keeper. Just a little pound and a half. -er. I don't understand these fish, dude. These little rats. I mean, why, why don't they just, they just fly out of the water and I just get them in the boat? Thank you, Lord. All right, it's a two pounder, two something. Yeah, two pounds. Got her. Got her. Ha ha! Thank you, Lord. Oh, I got a tagged bass. I got one of those tagged ones. 
three pounder. Three yeah, that helps. Fell out of the boat. Dude, I got the worst luck this tournament, dude. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Maybe. No, a new fish. Well, right there. Yeah, same one. I think. No, 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 no. Different fish. Pound and three quarters. Pound and a half, just two pound and a half. Two pounder. These females have left, dude. Pound and a half. The females are gone. They're post we're in post spawn now. And everybody thought they were gonna be coming because it was a full moon. Warming trend, opposite. Because I should be catching Seven pounders right there.
good way. He just figured out he's hooked. But what I lost yesterday at the boat off the bed. <laughs> Dude. Thank you, Lord. That helps. Yeah, it's a two and a half. Okay. We got a limit, dude. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hope he helps me or not. I need one pound. He's bigger. Yeah. That's a two. Help me by half a pound. It'll help me by half a pound. That's the cut, baby. We just cut it up. Oh, nope. Three pounds. That's the cut. I think I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the way I look at it, the way I look at it is this. I don't, I, only way I can win a, this tournament at a popka is by getting really lucky a couple times. There might be 20 pounds in that in that little pond, and there's enough pads in there that I, 10 fish, 10 four pounders to go 20 pounds two days in a row could possibly win the tournament. I caught two four pounders in 30 minutes here yesterday on six pads of patches, and there's 25 more patches of pads.
sorry. <laughs> Ten grand, baby. All right. All right, guys. Let's see if we can't. Catch a few in here. Okay. So it's two and a half. Yeah. So I gained a half a pound. What's two threes is six, two two and a halves is five. So it's six and five is 11, 12, 13, 13 pounds. Oh, it's a giant, dude. A giant. A freaking giant. Yeah! Woo! All right! 
<laughs> Look at that one, boys. We can win the tournament here. We can win the tournament here. Woo! Six five. I can win the tournament here, dude. I just caught a two and a half there. And then the next, like, I ain't made it like 10 casts. Special little spot right here. Found this the last day of practice. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow, one just knocked the crap out of it right there. One knocked the crap out of it right there. Last flip, we gotta go right here. This is the last flip for real. back to the lake i made a little bit of an error for whatever reason i thought i was doing it at three o'clock and actually i'm doing it at 3 30 so i left the little hidey hole lake 30 minutes early but i did i did need to check this little zone right through here because they could pull into this stuff and it's game over the way i look at it it's almost like i'm glad it happened because this was on my mind. We made it. 17? What you got? Everybody's got 12, so that's a cut. I wonder how Matt did. Oh, he's still got till 5 o'clock. So uh, yeah, we got 17 again. So I don't know what it'll do. It'll probably we'll see. You know, it was a it was a blessing. Well, I mean that big fish. I mean, I hooked it and I was thinking like, oh my gosh, what am I? I mean like I was scared, like legit scared, trying to land that dude. But we got her. Just need to catch five of them tomorrow, like that. Tag bass. Get a tag. Good. Hey, it's uh, it was a grind. This tournament so far, it's been, it's been those little decisions that I've made that have put me over the top each day. So I just got to keep it going. You know, hopefully. Hopefully make some good decisions tomorrow in some good areas and it'd be awesome to catch three or four or five of these big bites in one day. I struggled a little bit. I've been flipping pads and stuff main lake, uh, trying to catch a big female and today I was going to grind for me. Uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit tomorrow go somewhere else catch some big ones. Let's bring up the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Had a big day yesterday, 21 pounds even in five fish here today. 13 pounds, two ounces, gives him 34 pounds, two ounces. And the Skeeter Yamaha Pro moves into fourth place currently and should be safe inside our cut fishing semifinal Saturday once again. 34 pounds and two ounces and did your job here this week? Should be fishing on semifinal Saturday. Yeah, that was the main goal today is to go out and not let that big bag yesterday uh, get away without getting some money. So. Uh, you know, I think I made some money, and now then I need to change it up because I mean I've been fishing the same water over and over, and it just it's sort of getting uh, a little bit slow on me. So uh, we're gonna move around tomorrow and fish some new water, see if we can't catch a big bag, keep that halo rod in my hands, and uh, some net bait lures, and see if we can't do it. Look forward to seeing it go down. Day two here at the Harris Chain, guys. Uh, didn't go as good as day one. 
think I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna get the fish tomorrow. Gonna have to mix it up, guys. Uh, sort of milk my little areas dry. I'm gonna change it up tomorrow. Guess if we can't catch a big bag, catch catch one of them uh, Scott Martin bags. I, he's been pretty consistent with that 17. If I can get 17 to 20 tomorrow, I think we'll move up the leaderboard. Might even make the top 10, guys. He's a seven time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida. Unfinished family business, Scott Martin. 17 won yesterday, five fish here today. 17 pounds, three ounces with 34 pounds, four ounces. Scott Martin moves into fourth place currently. 34 pounds and four ounces. Gonna weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 6.11 for the day. 8.10 for the tournament, that's 6.1. Not gonna take that over, but man, you're alive in this tournament and, and it really feels like just watching it go down, it feels like something's gonna happen this weekend. Just making it into the cut and some magic could happen. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's been a grind the last two days, you know, but I've got, I had a big bite yesterday, obviously didn't get it in the boat. Had a couple of them. Today, was when I hooked that fish, I was so scared to death. It jumped out of the water. I'm like, I'm playing it easy, I'm playing it easy. But I finally got my hands on it, it felt good. But, you know, to make the cut, I'm all, you know super excited about that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow yet. I've weighed in three three fish from down south of the Popka and two from up here yesterday. I did the same thing today. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just stay up here all day. I may run back down. I'm not sure. But, you know, like you said, it, th th I think there's a big bag coming. This lake has not shown out yet. I'd love to see that big bag come across the stage with you, and you're in a great spot. Thank you very much, and I want to just say hi to all my fans out there. We're going to hang out for a little bit. I'd love to uh, say, shake some hands and say hi. and. Say hi to my wife. I know she's watching at home. And thanks to all my sponsors. See you guys. Always great to have Scott Martin here on the stage. Oh, we did it. I, 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 uh, I don't have to sit here and stress about being on the bubble. I know I'm going to make the cut. 17 and 17, 34 pounds. I don't know what place it's going to put me in. But, um, you know, top 15 or so. Canterbury had another big bag. So he's going to be in the top, close to the top 10. I think Aerie's going to make the cut, from what I can tell on Bass Track. So he's, he's not doing it until five. So he's liable to crack a gigantic bag. He's got another couple hours of fishing. So, um, you know, we all made the cut. So we're, I, don't, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, Paul Nick does the cut ice cream thing. I like ice cream, but I like sushi. So I think we're going to go do some cut sushi. From Shelby, North Carolina, a two-time FLW Tour winner. Get loud for Matt Harry. Three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, 14 pounds even yesterday, a better day today. Needs 11-11 to make the cut. Not a problem, 19 pounds, 10 ounces, with 33 pounds, 10 ounces. Matt Airy rockets all the way up into 12th place here on day number two of the Site 1 Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain. Team Toyota's Matt Airy going to work on semifinal Saturday. And man, what a difference a day makes. It is, because a couple of those came off the bed today, and I really, I've been pretty confused. I've been starting some grass early early in the morning and, and getting a, a, you know, a decent limit, 13, 14 pounds, and then going looking. And uh, yesterday I saw, uh, I, I didn't see any new fish. Today I saw several new fish. So I don't know how many he's done. I don't know how many he's coming. Um, Florida always gets me on that. So uh, we're going to go, uh, same game plan for tomorrow. We're going to go out and try to catch early limit and uh, go looking for some, nine ten pounders because they live here i want to see it all right so day two and word on the street is that the whole house made day three and i'm not sure if that ever happened last season <laughs> mccoy's shaking his head no so apparently that did not happen so that's pretty awesome and uh we had a good day in toyota but had almost 20 pounds and uh we didn't have any big ones so usually the key in florida is to catch a eight or nine ten pounder to get 20 pounds and today we had all like three and three quarter to four pounders so it was a great day um looking forward to getting out there tomorrow caught a lot of fish today caught probably 15 keepers and uh you know i i, I, I wouldn't say i figured anything out i caught a couple off the bed and uh, caught some in the grass and uh a few in between so uh, we're gonna go out there and junk it up tomorrow we need 20 pounds to make a run of this top 10. I think it's there one chance that we could do this and be We're talking not about even gonna put our trolling motor down. What? We're gonna let you steer us around. We're gonna yes. tie up that. <laughs> Canterbury's gonna tie up on your port side. I'm gonna be on your starboard side, tight. Well, how am I gonna ever land a fish? And you're gonna put. <laughs> <In front. laughs> Flip them over my trolling motor. Yeah. I mean, 
You hold one leg and he holds the other. <laughs> I'll grab it for you. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you think another you think another boat can land your fish for you? Yeah. But that would be great. Let can you, I have this? Cause then, yes. Because then nobody could get mad that like all of us came in that hole. And we're all just big one big boat now. <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so great. I mean I thought y'all were gonna come up with something like cool, but that's just dumb. This is called cut sushi. We all three made the cut. So I'm in 13th, you're in 14th, you're in 16th. 17th, I think. 17th. Take it. We'll take it. Yes. Now, if we're in 3rd, 4th, and 7th tomorrow. Be even better. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. So this is uh, Sumi Sushi in Leesburg. And it is really, really good. They had one in Palaka. It was also really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. When y'all said Sumi, I'm like, you know, sometimes Japanese restaurants are named the same thing, but different town, but this is the same owner. Mm -hmm. Good sushi. Real good sushi. Yeah, hot as hell on a full moon in February, and they're not spawning. Something doesn't seem right. Maybe they're coming tomorrow, dude. Maybe we get up in the morning, and we go out there, and all of a sudden they're spawning again. Wheelies? He's walking away to look at it. <laughs> Papa Wheel? He walked away to like a long way down there. So now, uh, I think this video is pretty awesome. I mean, we got all three of us in the cut. There were some big fish caught. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just close this video up now. And the very next video in the series is gonna be day three, called Cut Day. And we're gonna have cameras and everything doing the whole thing. So it's gonna be an awesome video. And um, I don't know if we can pull it off, but. We, we all need to make the top ten. Top ten guys need to. That'd be cool. That'd be I gotta cool. catch. I gotta get real fortunate. Well, we, I, I think, I think Matt's a, around a lot more yeah. fish than both of us. <laughs> I think our deal's going away, and it's weird. It's full moon. It's warm, and and they're not spawning. They're actually leaving the bank. They're not. It's like post spawn blues, and these fish are leaving the bank fast. And we all banked on the sight fishing thing and the whole spawning thing, and. Uh, Matt's gonna crush them out there. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna crush them out. I, yeah. It's like in the bite, offshore bites getting better every yeah. day. I'm up there flipping pads and reeds, and you yeah. can't get a bite right. now. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you. Bam.